we looking at today? Well, for a couple of years now, since I have my E36 Touring with the M43 B16 engine, I've been looking into tuning the uh, ECU, which uh, in this case, it's the uh, Bosch BMS 43 ECU. This lump here, actually this one I picked up from a junkyard. It was just sitting in a junk car. And this is the uh, number 261203447, which is designating it's for uh, M43 B16. Now, what is so special about this, or actually uh, not special, I would say, that this is a complete mystery, ECU to me, or trying to do it, do it yourself, tuning, flashing, until recently, while it has already a flash chip inside, there wasn't really a software, freeware, or something third party that you can download and use, for example, like MS41, plenty of now tuning options available, you can do it yourself. For this ECU, I couldn't find anything for years. It's a well-kept secret to, I don't know, professional tuners using maybe WinOLS, uh, some other flashing software, which uh, not really readily available. Of course, you could have always taken the chip out with a chip reader and done it that way. However, issue here being also, there was not really a definition file to actually load the program into a tuning software like Tuner Pro or ROM Rider where you can identify the maps. So even if you did have the flash, you wouldn't actually know what to look at or where, where the maps are. This is basically all you would need is the Win OLS software, which has map packs and stuff. But this is a commercially available software for professional tuners, which costs like thousands. So no real DIY tuning method here until recently someone or the uh, company also publishing MS1, MS41 Quick Flash, published a flash tool also for BMS43, which is very good. And now we can start looking into messing with this ECU. In parallel, someone has developed by scratch an XDF definition file for Tuner Pro with the basic maps, ignition, fuel, uh, etc. So you can do a basic tuning on it and good time now to look at it. Maybe uh, I want to see if this one even works, do a bench setup of this ECU. I do have another adapter connector for flashing. This one was set up for MS41 and see if we can make it work also for the BMS and then the connections. Unfortunately, the first snag I ran into is that the tab here is different, so it will not actually go in. So I would have to break this or that. I don't want to do that. So what I'll have to do is, I'm just gonna open this connector up, pull out the pins that are needed. There's actually only very few pins. This describes actually the uh, functionality of the BMS 43. It's the successor to the uh, DME 1.7.3, available for the M43 B16 and B18 engines. Uh, that's the base model, four cylinder, eight valve units. You may ask yourself why even bother or all this trouble to tune this yeah, puny little four cylinder. Well, basically just because no one has done it and I would like to do it, find out if it works and what it does. For the pinouts, we can look here. We only need for bench setup these five pins, which is almost identical to the MS41, but not quite. The uh, voltage supply here on the BMS43 which interestingly is the same as the M5.2 Bosch, which is used in the 16 valve M44 engines. The pinouts, I have the connector, which I showed before, actually set up for this MS41, which has the power connections on 264960. The 28 ground and K line uh, remain the same. So the only thing that changed is the pinout uh, 49, which is not on the uh, MS. BMS 43, but it needs to be pin 56 instead of 49. So that's the only pin that we have to change here in this mess. And I'm just going to take this out and connect the pins manually to the ECU. Trying to connect it to the uh, notebook. For this, of course, I need a flash tool, which is available. I said Beamer tuning tools, flash tools, E-series, and then you will see various models 
he has those Y41 and 43, yeah, the BMS 43 quick flash now, which I've downloaded, I bought as well. He now has available the BMS 46, which is the successor for the M43 E19 TU in the E46 engines, but not a topic. We're going to focus on this ECU. So I have the flash tool, um, and let's see if I can, first of all, even connect it, modify it, connect and see we can read something out of this junk ECU. This is actually pretty sick. I opened this connector so I can just connect the, um, I don't know, just the adapter itself to the ECU. The pin assignment that fits, leaving the bracket alone, removing it, that fits. I hooked up all the uh, necessary pins, have my 12 volt battery source, power supply, connected the uh, USB decon cable to my notebook, opened quick flash, and it actually then works identify and it's identifying the ECU. This is pretty neat. Yeah, you can see here, identify, identifying. Now let's go to Diag, Diagnosis, see if we can read any ETCs. It should be a lot present. 54. No, oh yeah, number 54. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't really matter in our case. I just want to read the flash. First of all, I'm not gonna disturb this wire mess. And now let's see if we can read the full flash here. Now it's reading full. This is gonna take a while, it seems. Now it's reading the full, so it's probably 128 kilobytes. It's gonna take a bit, so there's no option here of reading partial or flashing partial. I can see with the BMS 43 flash tool, you can only do the full flash, but okay, it's just gonna take a little bit longer, I guess. Luckily, I just had charged this motorcycle battery, so it's full, and let's see what it's gonna read. What we can see, if we can use the, uh, XDF that was um, created by a user on the BMW Discord channel, Matt. So thanks a lot again for actually putting the time in. What we are missing on that XDF at the moment is the uh, rev limiter. We haven't been able to identify the rev limiter address yet, but we're going to do a couple of tests and see where we can find it. But first of all, let's take it step by step. I can do the bench flat. This ECU actually was from a junk car sitting outside in the junkyard, full of water, the trunk, and it was just lying there. And I just grabbed it, took it, not really expecting it to work. I mean, it looks all mangled up, but it just works fine. It's alive. All right, now we can save the full read. Just gonna save it on the desktop, have it ready, and then we can analyze it and have a look. Excellent. So now the real test, actually on the car. I have the, uh, 20 pin connected to the adapter, USB, decan cable. Let's see if we can read it actually from the car. Open quick flash, what is it now? It's to identify. Jeez, I don't know what the error there was. So here we have the uh, car identified. Let's read the full flash. Okay, this is gonna take some time, so let's wait. All right, I did some modifications on the bin here to fit my car. And now I'm gonna try if I can flash this ECU with the uh, flash tool and also do the EWS off. So we go to flash, we go to identify. I have programming voltage should be, it should be turned on. So everything is hooked up. See if we can load the bin. That's the one I did. Then we click patch ABS. Okay, here goes nothing. Either I brick it now or it's gonna work. We will see. Okay, this is really tricky. I had to apply the programming voltage on my bench setup. I think I didn't do it correctly. Let's see if it works now. Let's now patch ABS to flash full. It was nothing. Fucking bullshit. I got it to work. Something's the programming voltage. The pin not hooked up properly. And now it's flashing. So let's see. So this seemed to have worked now. It's flashed. I'm gonna try to back read what's on here and compare. See if it actually did it. But apparently it did the job.
So I replaced the ECU with the uh, test unit I had, now flashed the old one, and yeah, I had to take the battery out to get there, kind of annoying, so let's see if this lump will start up with the uh, flashed ECU on the junkyard and see what will happen. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's see if that even worked with that flash. Wow started right up. That's pretty awesome. I mean, the flash tool worked. The flash I put didn't fuck everything up. The EWS MO off also worked, patched, otherwise it wouldn't start. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see if this thing blows up with this tune. I did some modifications on the flash, on the tune. Uh, I raised the ignition in certain areas, gave it more spark advance. Also raised the idle to 950 because I have the camshaft in here. I like it to uh, be a little bit smoother and um, idle a little bit higher. Did some um, small things on the fuel map and that's about it. I couldn't find the rev limiter yet, so that'll be the next thing, but let's just see if the car drives normal now with the tune run smoother or better, I don't know. This is something to test now and just go for a ride. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied that this worked. This opens up a whole new world now, flashing BMS 43, the M43 engines for anyone basically. So engine is idling away. Not fully warmed up yet. So far running okay. Okay, I need to take it for a drive and see how it feels all warmed up.